Last but not least, it's my pleasure to introduce our outstanding alumnus who is probably known by every business owner in Johnson City, if not all of Northeast Tennessee. He graduated from East Tennessee State University in 1973, receiving his bachelor's degree in psychology and political science. In 1974, Mr. Mabry received his master's of city management, also from ETSU. After he completed his master's, he held positions with the city of Kingsport, the city of Lenore City, the University of Tennessee's Institute for Public Service as a municipal consultant with their municipal technical advisory service, and as the executive director of their center for government training. Currently, he's in his 28th year of service for the Johnson City, Jonesboro, and Washington County Chamber of Commerce, currently serving as the president and CEO. He's a member of several ETSU groups, including the ETSU Foundation and the Distinguished Presidents Trust. He also has served on the Athletic Steering Committee and the College of Business and Technology's Advisory Board. He's a recent inductee into the College of Business and Technology Hall of Fame, receiving their Excellence Award. He was appointed to the ETSU Gatton College of Pharmacy's Board of Visitors. In fact, he created the Gary Mabry Community Service Award that is presented each year to a deserving senior who volunteers and exemplifies the approach he has taken in his community service. It is my pleasure to introduce and present the outstanding alumnus, Mr. Gary M. Mabry III. Been thinking about my first grade teacher all week. She spent most of the year trying to keep me from talking a long time or talking out of turn or being put in the corner of the West Side Elementary School. And Leanne and Dr. Plummer said, You only have two minutes. We expect you to be short, be sweet, be sincere, and be seated. <laughs> and on that note, could we take a moment and congratulate a recent inductee into the College of Education Hall of Fame, Dr. Bob Plummer. I think he deserves that recognition. He gets so many of us up here, he deserves that. I will say uh, my loquaciousness was certainly calmed at a baseball game when Bob came over and said, what are you doing May the 8th? And about that time, a foul ball rises into the air it's coming down. I'm standing beside my wife, Jackie. Bob is over here. I'm moving out of the way. Bob is standing there and the ball, and I didn't catch it. So I was so disappointed. I, maybe Coach Storbush will let me catch a, a pass sometime. There's no way I could be here without my mother. Some of you know my mother. When she raised me, she said, if you say yes to something, it's half done. But she also said, don't do anything halfway. My mother, my great-grandmother, and my nanny lived in an apartment on the corner of Watauguan Market, above a corner drugstore. And I will just say, my life revolved around that corner drugstore. I was a drugstore cowboy, wore my Weegians when I could have them, rode a J.C. Higgins bicycle all over this city. I mean all over this city delivering sundries and prescriptions. So let me thank some folks by doing an, I think you call it an acrostic. Again, I've heard my coach of football do this, so I'm gonna to try to emulate what our outstanding football coach does. I want you to think of the word B, U, C, and S. B, I'm a blessed buccaneer. I'm just blessed beyond my wildest dream. You, that's all of you. As alum, you're the reason that I'm here, you. Some of you more than others. Some of you we've worked on committees. Some of you we've worked on boards. You persuaded me. You dissuaded me. You encouraged me. You allowed me to serve with you. You allowed me to follow you. And every now and then you put me on the point, the tip of the spear. 
One of you has influenced my life for 61 years. Another of you has had a mother who allowed me to attend her vacation Bible school at the Presbyterian Church. And I was a Christian. I went to the Christian Church Bible School. That's a, don't tend that as a joke. <laughs> One of you called me 27 years ago to come here to my home, my native home. One of you for 17 and a half years. And as I've said publicly, you all just get to work around me. She has to live with me. So, Jackie, thank you. That's the you portion. One of you, by the way, guided me through this foundation 27 and a half years ago. You, you encouraged me to participate. You allowed me to sit on various boards. You let me represent the foundation. And the C would be my children. Dr. Mabry, her friend Dan, Claire Cooper, you're my bonus daughter. Thank you for being that. Some of you have sprinkled your love and support around me all my life. Did you get that one? Some of you have sprinkled. S would be selfie, but I'm not going to do that. I have two stories. But we might. <clears throat> Ten years ago, 11 years ago, and this morning we matriculated 78 wonderful graduates of the Gatton College of Pharmacy. It seemed like 11 or 12 years ago we sat in a room, Guy Wilson, then Dr. Larry Calhoun, Gerald Medlin, a, a retired Cardinal Health Executive, and this gentleman and a number of folks, Dr. Stanton, then Dr. Franks. And we were attempting to address a challenge given us by Governor Bredesen, something like $6 million in just a few days. So in traveling around, I was in Memphis, Tennessee. I just love this story. <clears throat> I was in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm going to do what Dr. Nolan did. Can you all hear me? I was in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm in the Chamber of Commerce Executive Office. My friend near the University of Memphis. I'm making phone calls back here to get a College of Pharmacy right here. Go Big Orange, go Bucks. <laughs> Here's my other story. 12 or 1300 days ago, I was, that's one of the most moving things I've done. 12 or 1300 days ago, I was given the privilege of escorting two wonderful people to ring. Now, for those of you who know, I'm geographically challenged on the earth, but I can plan your future and get you there and beyond. But they allowed me in my car to transport the Nolans. This, my family's laughing, but they know. Here's what I witnessed. We're driving along, we're sharing, we're talking. I heard this conversation between two loving people. I heard this exchange. I heard this sharing. I heard this giving. I heard this caring. I heard this... Some of the most effective listening I've ever heard and still blessed and am able to hear it. And I just want you all to know, five years from now is 15, 1800 days, 1800. So, you know, just imagine what's going to happen in the next five to seven years in this institution. Let me leave you with this uh, last thing. I've got a Master's of City Management degree. Mr. Peterson and I have that. But they did away with it. I guess they did away with it after Pete and I forgot it. They don't do that anymore. But at that time, there were only two institutions in the United States of America that offered that degree. Someone in Kansas certain here. Dr. Chapman, God rest her soul. Ambrose Manning, he taught me about foreshadowing. Dr. Majeski, as a 24-year-old, allowed me to research a political socialization class at the University High School. 24 years old, a returning veteran. He didn't know me from Adam's house cat. So let me just say this. I'm so blessed. Thank you for letting me serve you. Thank you for letting me be around you. Thank you for letting me do the things that I love and I believe in my heart. If you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. And in closing, I usually say, saw good. I'll just say tonight, saw God. Go Bucks. <laughs>